Hey guys, welcome back to Launch Did Not Included! Clay's Amazing Space Colony Adventures Extraordinaire! My name is Twitchy and we are back in the LZ Alpha with our nine duplicates. Now I'm gonna see if we can put up to ten because of course we are after someone who with the supplying skill. An act of irony, I'm gonna make our fastest running guy called Jelly. He'll understand why that's irony. And we'll get this, get this guy out and everybody's having a good time. Have our plans today to try and deal with this chlorine by making ourselves a salt vine and by using our amazing a brand new ice cold box over here, which it turns out I need to put a couple of little bits of insulated tile over here, try and cool down this water so we can get a serious water supply on the go because that's one of the things we're missing. I also feel the need to point out that we have quite a lot of slicks in our carbon area over here, leading us to not actually have any carbon and I think what we're going to do to try and sort that out is make a new carbon outflow pipe we have a system up above that deals a very strongly with all our waste gases and I would like to use this system to go along and take those gases away if we can I keep pressing the wrong key to rotate I've been playing a lot of Factorio lately and it's R to rotate there and unfortunately this means that I'm going to be pressing R to rotate here a lot so be prepared to witness my uh, my my burps there. Okay, we're gonna go across here and we're gonna go across there. But one thing I've noticed whilst I've just been doing this is this is not an a uh, this is not a not oxygen sensor. If I come up to the, the top here, you can see that we've got an uh, an element sensor here set to just uh, to uh, detect oxygen. It then goes through a not gate before turning this off if it detects oxygen. If it doesn't detect oxygen, i.e. the air is unclean, it will turn on, pump a lovely amount of gases out of here. Unfortunately, because of the way this one's set up, we do lose a little little bit of oxygen but that's got no problems because it comes down into our waistline here where the oxygen is fed back up back out into our bases uh, we deal with oxygen chlorine and hydrogen but the one that I want to deal with right now is carbon dioxide because we could do it with getting rid of that I also feel like maybe what we want to do is uh, get rid of this automation wire here perhaps even go as far as put a knock gate round this way and we're gonna end up using this as a an oxygen not gate so I'm gonna like wait until that one there gets destroyed come on someone okay mad Frank came along and done the work there he's also gonna go ahead and put the uh, the rest of the system in place but I'm gonna go through and now change this to oxygen it's alphabetical so I should be able to just click it like that beautiful and we need to connect up the rest of the wiring of course but over here whilst we've been doing that uh, someone Mima, uh, Mimi sorry has gone along and taken down the, uh, the vent that we had on the end here. I'm going to put this one down and of course we're going to want to take the carbon dioxide out downwards because we want to connect it up to this but of course if we were going to like drag this down or connect with the chlorine line we'd have all sorts of issues but we could use a bridge but there is a problem with that of course that we can't have the output being on top of a building so we need to actually put this one here and break this bit of no, not the gas bridge, the gas pipe. Uh, and that should enable a little jump to happen there so we can pull this down. Uh, it might be obvious to a few of you, but it was super not obvious to me that this was a way to, way to do this until one day I did it and I was like, ah, oh, you know what, that makes a lot of sense. All right, carbon dioxide selected. Now all this needs is to be hooked up to the system and everything should work pretty well for us. Hopefully coming down, spilling out all the carbon into the slicks whereupon they won't be starving so much. Okay, so whilst the uh, Mad Frank is going around and building that there, I'm going to come into the food. I'm going to get the, a few of these farm tiles. We're going to turn this upside down. We're going to build some in the air. No, no, that's not what we're going to do. We're going to say that we want all this built. And I'm also going to go ahead and gut this room out. Bam! This is now going to be a new farm for the salt vine. I am told that this one rust oxidizer produces enough chlorine for five of the salt vines. Or, put it another way, five salt vines will eat enough of the chlorine for one of these uh, rust deoxinators. Now, I would like to move this up there because I would like this to be a three-way. Oh, I should do that right now. I was going to do this a little bit later. But as you can see, I've got the very the very uh, right hand side of the map on my map over here let's get rid of that we've got like neutronium all the way down this uh, far edge here but over on the other side it's a little bit of a different story all we've got is a bisolite and another biome so I'm actually gonna go as far as digging out like this and hopefully miss will come along and open this up I've got a feeling maybe we would do very well to put down a whole bunch of ladders there Okay, we've got a couple of farm tiles in. I'm not sure if it's enough to get going with, but I'm going to start by doing that. 11 we've got to go with. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we, of course, also then need to try and figure out how we're going to be putting chlorine in here. I'm very much of the opinion that we should just do this. 
I think maybe I should put some sort of... Uh, you know what? This one right here, uh, we're going to cancel that. And I'm even going to go as far as deconstructing that farm tile and changing it back to a regular tile. Uh, because I would like to go ahead and put an airlock down here and then a couple of tiles coming up here. And that makes a, a trap where we've got oxygen that flows in through here and then we'll collect in the upper area above the carbon dioxide and the chlorine. The chlorine and both... Uh, Sorry, both the chlorine and the carbon dioxide will get caught down here. We have a little bit of a problem with what's going on down below. Perhaps this is a time to also go ahead. We are on granite, good. And just kind of redo all of this. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. I think we're going to end up with a very nice farm over here. Uh, just a quick thing that happened from last time. I've got a bottle emptier in this little uh, crude oil repository here. I'd like to say, yeah, empty this in here uh, with, with the highest of priorities, I think. Is anybody going to take on that job? Uh, th there are people thinking about taking on that job. Uh, look, Jelly, uh, we forgot to do a few things for Jelly. Let's get to the skills. Let's have a look at him down here. He's got the uh, improved carrying. That's definitely the one we want to go for. We're probably going to interrupt his job here. Yeah, well, there it goes. Uh, we're probably going to interrupt his job here, but that's no a bit a problem if we have a look down here jelly not only are you on life support let's get rid of all this uh but you should also be on the supply with like all the priorities all right jelly is in for his led transplant i, I believe that's what's going on here and then he gets the control hat that, that's all to do with the led transplant right that's that's what's going on here nothing too untoward honest Oh, he's just... Oh, wait, 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 wait. We need to grab one of these, a B over there, and then grab one of these over there. And he doesn't have a bed. That that would also be very handy. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, tonight, he sleeps on the floor. Bam! But later on, we'll let him sleep where, you know, like a real person. Mmm... <laughs> Is, is this going to just stop at some point? Is it going to get over pressure or is there going to be just trouble the whole time? Going to be interesting to find out, that is for sure. I kind of feel like we need to do something oh, to, to kind of enclose this. Or we just ignore it. Oh, the water is going to drip down there and we're not going to have any problems. Oh, we might have our first crude oil delivery underway. Forrest's come along, he's picked a bunch up, and we're going to drop it in the bottle emptier, and that's it. It's, it's already spilled out. That's, that's, that's pretty cool, actually. That's pretty cool. This door, definitely going to need closing now. We appear to hit the side of the map here. Beautiful, beautiful. That is one objective achieved for today. Second one, taking its time. Oh dear, our gas geyser has gone dormant for 20 cycles. Okay, that's going to be interesting. We're going to have to very much rely on the coal power here. And eventually when the uh, the turnover of carbon dioxide into crude oil becomes hard, high enough, we will have a distillation plant down here, sending some more, uh, some of the petrol up to the petroleum generator to flood this place with more carbon dioxide to make more crude oil. And the cycle continues, hopefully. Yep, there's the neutronium. We definitely got over far enough. Good work, Mr. Line. Good work. I'm very interested to know, if all this ice melts at once, am I going to overflood here? Because that would be hilarious. That, that would be beyond hilarious. Small issue where gases aren't flowing because this last output here isn't set. That means that we've got a gas in there that's neither oxygen, chlorine, hydrogen or carbon dioxide. It's going to be interesting to see what falls out of here. I'm guessing it's actually some sort of polluted oxygen, maybe? It'll be very interesting, as I say, to see. If we press F4, we should be able to see it come literally spilling out of there. Gas vent gets moving. Yeah, that's, uh, that's some uh, polluted oxygen right there. But this does, of course, mean that we've got carbon dioxide going down to feed the little critters. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, well, I mean, it will if someone ever gets around to making this. Ha, 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 ha. This is a classic case of over-engineering here. You can see that I'm putting a nice little outflow pipe for all my chlorine to come out, up and out and round. But, of course, we could have just put an airflow tile here and let the chlorine that is naturally in here fill up this space. Wow, I've got, I've got a uh, technological workaround working now, so let's just go with that. All right, now the chlorine should begin just emptying out into here, no problem. The problem actually is, of course, the fact that this farm tile has an airflow tile behind it. And I don't want to fill this space up with chlorine. So hopefully Mad Frank and Jelly and that lot are going to come along and make this work. Oh, look, this guy is like, yeah, yeah, there's enough chlorine in here. All right, beautiful. Let's press the uh, the old control button, sorry, F4 button here and see what we get. It's just going to slowly be filling up with uh, 
with chlorine, isn't it? I'm hoping that by increasing the pressure of the chlorine over here, the carbon dioxide is gonna slowly get pushed out of the door. That That's my hope. That's, that's what I've got my fingers crossed about. I might even go as far as opening these two doors for now until it is entirely a chlorine uh, atmosphere in here. We'll see how that works out as well. And with one atmosphere changing up top, we've allowed the other one to change down below. Of course, this is going to get eaten almost instantly. You can see there is a bunch of carbon dioxide being flown out of here. But these slicks down here are going to eat the lot of it. These guys, these are insatiable carbon dioxide eaters. They're going to carry on doing... Uh, they're going to just eat it all until there is no more left. It doesn't matter how much I pour down here, I think. The alert system is so easy to abuse. Look, you, right there, go and fix it. <laughs> and then you just turn it back down and they stay on that job. They don't they don't re reassign themselves. I mean, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. So hopefully now as this door opens, we should start to see a flood of carbon dioxide just get pushed down, maybe up and over this lip. That would be ideal. I'm not sure like how strong the pressure is over this side, but yeah, it's happening. Look, look at that, beautiful. It's going to just go up and down, up and down until eventually the pressure builds up enough to, uh, to get rid of it all. And hopefully, this now means that we've got more chlorine flooding from over here. Yeah, it, it's happening. It's happening! How has the chlorine made it up? Like, really? Really, how? So aside from a little bit of carbon dioxide that we've got down below, I think we're all right. We've got this one tile of uh, oxygen there, but I'm not even going to worry about that. We're going to put both these doors onto auto, and this should now be a beautiful environment for our salt vines to grow. And hopefully, not only will this give us a beautiful salt to put into our uh, deoxidizer over there, but we'll just deal with the excess uh, chlorine. Chlorine is the word that I'm looking for, the excess chlorine that we have to deal with. Oh, what? What? What's going on over here? We got something trying to freeze, trying to not. I'm not, I'm not sure if there was a little bit of water here that's uh, slowly just pulling all the temperature out from this uh, this storage bin. It could well be. It could well be. But we got a little bit in the corner there. Do we have water? Is that a thing? Water. There we go. This, well, this is at like 30 degrees. I could well see this. Oh, look. Yeah, there it was. Did you see it there for a moment? I did. Well, I'm not sure when it happened, but beneath this ice biome, we've gone and dug out this little geyser here. Turns out we've got an iron volcano. Now, this is going to be dropping stuff with an obscene amount of temperature in it. You can see that we're already up to 33 degrees there. But we've got some actual uh, refined iron there. Now, this is going to be very useful. I have never made use of these before this point now. So it's going to be interesting to see what we can and can't get from this. But that is not what we're doing right now. No, indeed. Right now, we need to try and sort out the water situation that is going on over here. We need to get a bunch of hydrogen in here and I think the best way of doing that is obviously we're going to go and use the uh, electrolyzer. We're going to pop that over here because there's going to be many many stages to uh, this. We also need to go ahead and get the desalinator wherever that is. That's in the utilities I believe. Refinement. Re obviously refinement. Why, why would it be that? Okay, so we want to put that here if we can. Unfortunately, that then means there are lots of animals, uh, not animals, lots of plants in the way. So we'll pop that there instead. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So we've got a little bit of a system over here that we can uh, use. Go through and just kind of do some things like empty this out and then try and put some tiles underneath stuff. That should work out pretty well for us. Okay, so over here, we've got a whole bunch of water. I'm going to use this situation down here as a our pump because I need I need to get some water out of here and what I think I'm gonna do you can see we've got this little gap between the abyssalites here we've got some salt water there here there all of these salt waters are around about 30 degrees give or take which is uh, cool enough for all our duplicates to be doing a lot of work with so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna get these ladders out and then I'm gonna start putting them down at ridiculously high priority we're gonna like come down here I think and then we also want to carry on through like that maybe pull this one down down here uh, and we might end up with him over this way so if I start building to go this direction here we'll, we'll see where we can end up and that might, as I say my main plan is to try and drain all the water down there Okay, Mad Frank is super on the build for us over here. I hope that's going to carry on all the way down, but all we need to do is wait for people. Of course, getting this ladder built is going to be a bit of a slow process because every time that one gets built, it only exposes one to the duplicates to get the job sorted. So uh, ideally, it would be good if we could come in from both sides, and I'm not sure if that's a situation that's actually going to happen at any point. I will find out. What's Mimi doing over here? Ah, she is uh, putting the power into the coal. That's pretty good. The coal into the power. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant there. Okay, it looks like one of the big problems we got is everybody's trying to move ice around and therefore they are grabbing all the atmospheric suits. So if we just kind of 
turn this uh, priority down just just a little bit and hopefully that will stop people moving all the ice about and uh, Miss Lion can come out here and start the digging because at the moment she wants to, she just can't reach it. Mad Frank coming down and starting to get all the utilities ready down here. Uh, he was making the ladders over here, but then he kind of stopped to move down this way. I suppose this is fine because one of the things I want to do is make sure that all this desalination area is sorted for us. Uh, I also need to go ahead and put some airflow tiles underneath here. Yes, yes, just like that. Beautiful, beautiful. We should be able to sort this out nicely. Oh, and today Miss Align came down and got this hot polluted oxygen vent out. Oh man, I would really like this to become a super high priority, but it doesn't look like, ah, oh, the Decipher is on it. Decipher is actually current errand on it. Please, my friend, go and fix that door because hot polluted oxygen sounds like something we do not want to have just kind of floating around our base. What sort of temperature is it actually uh, letting the oxygen out at? 500 degrees centigrade. That is outrageous. Just just the, uh, just the, con uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Conduction through here is gonna be painful. In fact, I might even want to go ahead. Uh, I'm not sure if this is possible. We're gonna do this. Honestly, these two vents that we've got here now, I am scared of. These are both very high temperature vents. It's uh, it's going to be a bit of a situation to deal with them, I think. Look, there's another one right here. Okay, all right, fine. We'll we'll put in the uh, the ladder for this, and we'll see what we've got here. I've got a feeling it's going to be horrific, nasty though. Even going as far as to put down the covering in uh, insulated tiles. Okay, Miss Align got onto one of the exosuits first this time, so hopefully she's not... Yeah, she's going off to do a dig. This is good. Hopefully, I was going to say, she is not doing the uh, the life support systems there. That's good. That is wonderful. Come on, Miss. I want you to come along and dig these holes down here if you can. Uh, uh, okay, are we going along to dig this stuff? I suppose the high abyss light stuff... No? What are you even doing? Oh! Oh, was that was that the important one? Is it not these things that are on a literal um, like high priority? Oh, I suppose these ones are on high priority. I don't know how that has happened there. Okay, she's coming along to do the dig that we need to be done, and hopefully start collecting all these waters together. Getting through this ladder is also going to be very interesting. I'd like to see whether we start. Oh, there's a bit of a molt there. Never seen that before. Uh, whether we start uh, collecting too much water together for the duplicates to actually go down and through. I, I'm not sure whether that's a thing or not. Okay, the whole crew are over here working on the insulative tiles. Good job because, man, the temperatures here, the temperatures. Hopefully it's not going to get too out of hand. Hopefully. Uh, it's, it's going on quite well over here because... Oh, Luna, what are you doing? You, you're going to have a bad time in there. I can tell you this for nothing. Um, bad times, bad times. Okay, that, that's good. We, we got things going on. The air pressure difference was obviously a big problem there. We've got like six kilos, five kilos. Why is this not over pressure yet? What, what point? There we go, over pressure. Spout cannot vent due to high environmental pressures. Hopefully, that's what we've got here as well. No, it's just idle. Oh. <laughs> okay, how about if we deconstruct this, put a heavy watt join plate, and then take these ladders out? We might be able to, like, make a cap for it. Maybe. <laughs> okay, everyone's now over this side. I wonder why that is. Is our exosuits in trouble or something? No, people must just be using them, though. We've got some people coming down and doing some water, but not a great deal. This guy is very much darker of color than that one, so that's interesting. I thought you were inside the base there for a moment, Cubic, with the exosuit on. I was like, why is that the case? But no, that's not the case. Luna, you're in hot water, and I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why. But over here, we are doing the digs, and we are getting the uh, getting the ladder built to come and find out what is this geyser in here. I'm hoping that maybe we've got another ga natural gas generator or perhaps a cold slush geyser. That would also be pretty good. Mad Frank down here making sure that the insulation does get put into place, though. Beautiful. Oh, they're, they're, they're going to have uh, a small air poppy experience down there, but I think I'm kind of okay with that, given the fact that they are the experts in their particular field. So it turns out Jelly Forest Luna and Dr. Captain Subs are the guys that have claimed the uh, the exosuits over here, but uh, I believe actually Jelly's made his way back into the camp. It's going to be interesting to see if anybody comes running through here. I'm expecting Miss Align to do so, if I'm to be honest with you, because she's the one with the huge high priorities on the digging, but it uh, doesn't look like she's here anywhere, so we'll have to wait and see. Is she just like packing stuff up over there? Yeah, okay, cool, good. This is what everybody should be doing, to be fair. 
Hmm, Forrest has picked up some polluted ice. I think it's going to be very interesting to see whether what he's carrying melts. Minus 22. I, I don't know whether it's going to have a, a way of doing that or not. We'll, we'll have to see whether it's actually going to, like, lose its temperature to the environment. If anything, it just got a little bit colder, did it? I, did, I, did I misread that? Wasn't that 22.6 a second ago? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll accept it for now. I'm um, gonna have a look in here and see what we've got. The polluted ice, in fact, is a 22.5. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. That is, you know, well, you know, ex excuse the pun, but that's pretty cool. This keeps happening, and I'm not sure why. We've got a little bit of broken pipe here, and I, I literally am not at all sure why polluted water that gets pumped up from here would come through the, the water sieve and then break my pipe. I just, I don't get it. I don't, I, I really don't. It's not like it's too hot in here or anything. Like, what temperature is the water sieve giving out? 30 degrees, but everything, uh, minus nine, you say? All right, maybe I do know now. Okay, it looks like any polluted ice that got put in there has now frozen, uh, has now thawed, uh, and that is probably what happened with the temperature there. Okay, that, that's interesting. I'm not sure how we can make that not so in the future. I, uh. Okay, I'm gonna put a thermo sensor down. We're gonna go automation wire. And we're gonna drop drop that up like that, uh, and then we're gonna make sure that it only turns on when we're over 10 degrees. 10 degrees sounds good. I do like the synchronized snoring. It's very cool. I wonder whether if we've got slicks in here, they would also be synchronized on the snoring. Uh, let's see if we can plant this yet. I'm, I'm feeling not, but we'll find out. Hello, Mr. Lyons coming to uh, put the automation system in place. Okay, that's that's a good shout, miss. That's a good shout. That's exactly what we need to do. I was really worried that she had like a little uh, little bit of uh, ice or something like that she was going to put down. I was like, oh no, we're going to be in trouble. But it turns out not. Okay, there we go. The uh, automation system is in place. And if below, I was going to say below 10. Where did all that water just come from? What happened here? Oh, no. Uh, I mean, that should be okay. That should be okay. Uh, if below 10... Uh, no, above 10, send green signal. Okay, and that should then turn this on. But we've still got a problem with water being below freezing there. Hmm. It's warming up pretty quick, though, so that should help it out. Yeah, okay, I, thi I think we're going to be all right in the end. But, man, that was not great. Okay, Dr. Captain Subs on the repair there. They should now, hopefully, as I say, have enough uh, warm enough liquid to not just freeze it all out as it comes through. Why? Why is it going through freezing? What temperature is our water sip here? That's 25 degrees. Something is very badly wrong here, and I don't know why. Hopefully, this is now fixed. Hopefully, now fixed. Okay, we've got the strong team of Forrest and Mad Frank down here. Forrest moving very, very fast. I realized that last time I made the, uh, uh, last time I noted that he was moving very, very fast, I lost the opportunity to say, run, run, Forrest, run. Um, I feel bad about that, to be honest with you, I do. But anyway, everybody's down here doing the work, and hopefully we're going to have a nice little system down here, making our way down into where the water is being collected. But the water is not being collected. What's going on over here? I saw someone make the delivery, uh, but now nobody wants to actually go ahead and do the business that needs doing. If I do this, it does expose sides of ladders so that people can, uh, like provide more assistance uh, the assistance is always helpful when you've got many duplicates to be used of course uh, and then I think maybe we're gonna come through here I'm a little bit worried that that's actually going to cause a problem so let's uh, cancel that one but carry on digging over in this manner and yeah as I say let's just drag it down and through this floor and hopefully we'll be able to bring all of the uh, all of the bits of salt water together as well as explore this dark area Okay, I'm not keen on how much polluted water we've got here, so I'm actually going to dig out this little area here and hopefully that will get rid of all the polluted water and let it drop down here and then it can refreeze or whatever it wants to do down there. Was that? No, oh, I thought I heard the tone for downtime. Turns out not. Must have been something else. Someone's idle. Misaligned is idle. <sighs> Miss a line. What are you doing there? Dig, dig, dig. Uh, you have got very close to being able to open all of that up, though, so that's pretty strong. I should imagine that there's now going to have uh, people coming along to do this, so that is actually you. Okay, that, that's fair enough. I mean, does anybody do know what you do with boiling hot polluted oxygen? I just, I don't even know what to do with it. Look, here's another one. 
There, there's loads everywhere. I've got to figure out how to get down there now. Uh, well, no, we'll leave that one. We'll leave that one. But this one, I'm very, very interested in what's going on. But of course, we've got no digging going on on the inside. We just want to know what's going on uh, around the outside until we feel safe for it. <laughs> of course, throughout all of this, the Sypho going around doing the work, making sure all the animals are nice and happy. Very important. I wonder how much reed fiber we've collected together. Six. Six reed fibers. That's three more atmospheric suits if we wanted to do that. Of course, we don't have the oxygen to provide for that. But, then, you know, that's six atmospheric suits. So this is releasing eight kilograms a second. There's 13 water tiles here, but if you take away 12, 11, 10, there's about 10 exposed water tiles here. So we're roughly getting a one kilogram a second, but I'm looking at this and it doesn't look like we're going up by one kilogram a second. Maybe there's a little bit of pressure building up down below. I don't see that either. So I'm not sure where the extra water is going. Okay, we've got all important retaining wall going up there, including the heavy watt join plate as soon as people get around to it. But up here, we've got Miss Aline digging through. Oh, she's come back down to have a little chill. But I think we can just kind of like dig out a few few little uh, tiles there and see what we get left with. Miss Aline should hopefully get straight on that because digging is her favorite passion. All right, we've we got an exposure. We've got an exposure. It's right there. It's a steam vent. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I mean, it's not. It's really hot. But that's, that's, that's nice. Uh, steam at 500 degrees C. I'm not sure what temperature we need for the actual steam turbine. I'm not sure if we're even working towards the steam turbine at the moment. Let's come up here and have a look. We are slowly but surely working towards the steam turbine. Oh no, I'm not sure if that's actually letting steam out. I mean, that's carbon dioxide, that's all. I think we're okay, but it's definitely definitely making a move we're getting some water down below that that worries me if we fill these uh, these two tiles in does that then go over pressure doesn't look like it does okay hmm interesting this is just going to fill up with boiling water isn't it like ridiculously boiling water i wonder whether there is like a uh, a pressure versus temperature scale in this game like can we have water over 100 degrees but at a high high pressure i doubt it because it only really uh only really notes a solid temperature there. Hello, in the time it took these guys to come down here and start digging, all the polluted water froze. <laughs> All right, we've got our first little bit of salt vine that is ready to be harvested. And here comes the cipher to do the job now. It's going to be very interesting to see what it is we actually get off of this thing. I think we need to start thinking about uh, conveyor belts and stuff like that. I've never, I mean, literally never played with them. So it might be time to start getting into that. But of course, we are still, oh, look, there's the salt down there. We are still working on the coal tank down here. Okay, I'm going to do something I don't do very often. I'm going to deconstruct the uh, the standing ruin here so I can carry on with my ladder because that's much more important. Okay, a whole bunch of ice has been dug out around here, but as you can see, it's all instantly melted into polluted ice. So I'm uh, just going to wait a little while for all of this to drain out. I'm moving the uh, desalinator down a little bit just for ease of access, and we've taken a power line across the top. Up in this corner over here, Mr. Line has been coming along and doing a little bit of digging. This is pretty cool, but we're waiting for people to come along and do the uh, do the build here. It turns out the Mad Frank much more interested in what's going on down here, which is kind of cool because this is the bit that I want to get done. Mm -mm, more salt. My, my, uh, my colony's gonna be loving all the salt. Okay, we might be encountering a major problem. One that enables me to go, uh, well, one that uh, forces me to disable the duplicate checkpoint because we've not been putting enough coal in the coal generator and because we haven't been getting any uh, natural gas from the gas geyser over here, it will, in fact won't be going for another 13 cycles. That's right, we are about halfway through its dormancy period. But because of that, we have not been uh, getting enough coal into here and we've not been getting enough power. We're just about to run out of power. And without power, well, we just can't run the base. So I've had to turn the checkpoint off so that people can come in and do what it is they need to do. But it should also mean that people come down here and do these jobs uh, a little bit more efficiently as well, or at least uh, will be not so bothered. There is a whole bunch of oxygen down here, so it shouldn't be a problem. The only problem is it is like minus 20 down here. So uh, yeah, I can see there being some issues with that. I should imagine people like Shrapticus are going to very quickly get hypothermia. Okay, that's one coal generator going. Good work, good work. Can we get the others running? That would be very good if we can. That would be very great. It looks like everybody's got something going. Though Mima, uh, Mimi is looking uh, a little little dusty there, or maybe it's jelly. I don't know. One of them was looking like they're bringing... Yeah, M Mima might be carrying something that's uh, a little bit smelly. No, it says no, but, but has she got something wrong with her? No, I don't know. The workspace is lit, though. 
They're worried about the ice that Forrest is picking up here. Oh no, minus 22. Well, no, we're okay. We're okay. It's the fact there was a whole bunch of water around. I was like, that that ice is not going to be frozen, but it turns out it really is. Mm, three generators burning, only just making about a hundred joules per second. Mm, that that power usage. Obviously, now that the night time has come around, power usage has gone down a bit. But wow, wow, we're gonna have to try and figure out more power generations. But really, we just need to do this. As soon as this is done, we'll have a bunch of hydrogen that we can like make power from. I might even move the electrolyzer from there to down here, just to give us a little bit more room to play with. Plus, the desalinators over here now. So if we just kind of draw a line across there, have a nice big box down here. Uh, we can have an electrolyzer on one side, maybe sort out the uh, the distribution of gas. Is. You know what? I'm not going to. I'm just going to put a filter on it and we're going to be happy with that. Okay, it's finally happening where a bunch of people are getting in there and uh, getting at the other sides of the build orders down here. So hopefully this will move on with a little bit more of a quicker pace now, but I'm, I'm not holding my breath for it, if I'm to be honest with you guys. Uh, Mad Frank is holding his breath. Let's let's turn this back on, shall we? And try and get people using the exosuits in the way they're supposed to. Where where are Mad Frank and Misaline? Let's uh, Forrest is taking a bit of a problem there. Uh, so Misaline, hey, how you doing? Uh, you seem to have taken your helmet off. Is this cool? I'm not sure if this is cool. I mean, you are doing the doing some serious work right there, so I'm not sure if I want to particularly interrupt you right now. Uh, but we'll, we'll wait and see, I suppose. Okay, checkpoint is turned back on. This should mean that people can't make it out without the atmospheric suits. All right, storage bin is currently rocking a minus three. Well, no, a 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, inside it, we've got a minus 21. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. Mima is bringing some water from the, the cold biome down below. It's at 20 odd. So I'd like to see what happens when she gets around there. It's going to take a little while though, so I'm going to speed her up. Okay, here we go. It goes into the bottle emptier. A whole bunch of water gets thrown out. That really didn't do much though, did it? No. Hmm. So I'm going to look at the duplicates here. We need to come over to the hospital and go, Hey, Forrest, you, you really need to uh, to get a little bit nicer. You know, yeah, go, just, you got to go rest in a hospital bed. you got to be fine. I mean, look how much bigger it is than your little cot there. You're, you're going to love it, man. You're going to love it. So it's time to stop being an idiot. Down here, all of these were being built with uh, rust, with the uh, iron ox... No, not iron ox, uh, aluminium oxide, sorry. The rust goes up top. Uh, I don't... Forget that I said rust. That was a very silly word. Uh, but because they were making it out of aluminium oxide, everybody had to go all the way up here to try and find out what was going on. But we've got a whole bunch of iron ore over here. So I've done, done a little bit of a dig order. And now everybody is going to put this, this iron down here instead. Obviously, I had to redo the orders for this. But hey, it's all working. And that's the important bit right there. Okay, we're being told we have a food shortage because every now and then we get a little bit of a pressure issue down here. That's a that's a big problem indeed. Oh, wait, this is supposed to be saying, hey, if it's not oxygen, wait, there you are, um, go ahead and pump. Because uh, th none of these have been able to get water for a little while now. So we're just going to start clearing out the base gases in the way that we are accustomed to clearing out the base gases and try and figure out a way of getting the, uh, the water and... Uh, following on from that the oxygen from down here up into the base okay we've been getting food shortage warnings as i said last time but we've had a care packet oh, it's only gonna give us sand I'll, t I'll take the sand thanks very much one of the things i'm a little worried about as you guys know is this overflowing over this side and i'm wondering whether this little um tile of gas here is saying uh, is stopping the vent from getting over pressurized so i'm going to put an airflow tile in there because liquids can't go through there but this little this little pocket of carbon dioxide should and hopefully it will stop the geyser from erupting too much Okay, we've got an oxygen issue again. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and give my duplicate hypothermia. We're going to disable this building again. We're going to make it a high priority. It's already a high priority, which means someone should be on their way to already fix that. Go, go, me, me. Uh, and then when that's done, it should hopefully allow Miss Align past here because she's the one that I want digging. Because down here, I pretty much have the path for the water sorted. The, uh, the salt water will fall down here. It will be picked up by this liquid pump. It will go through the desalinator. It will then get pumped along this way and into this little room here 
here where I've got three electrolyzers set up. There's a pump up the top to take away the hydrogen and there's a pump down below to take away the oxygen. The hydrogen will be moving up here into the anti-entropy and the gas vent and the oxygen will just be moving up into the base because that is where we need it. Probably going to try and feed it in to this side of the oxygen system. That might actually work out really well for us if we bring it up uh, like, ooh, I don't know. We're going to bring it up this ladder here, across here, up this wall. Uh, we can then jump this pipe, jump this pipe and put it in there or maybe just jump this one and put it in there. Uh, I'm not entirely certain, but we will work that out. Okay, Miss Aligned is down here, hopefully coming along to do the jobs that she is most qualified to do. It looks like that is what she's doing. I'm going to get a little bit of water drop on our head there, but that's not the end of the world. This is saying it's not in liquid. That's good because it's not. Uh, it'd be a little bit inconvenient if it was like, yeah, I'm in liquid. I'm going to suck it all up. It's like, well, no, it's not really, is it? You're going to have to try and figure out another way of doing that. But okay, here we go. We have got some salt water and some actual water traveling up towards the desalinator here. This should go through. I wonder what that first one was. That looked proper, proper empty uh, and should hopefully just let it through. But of course, we have got blocks pipes because no nothing down here is sorted, though these are super high priority. So hopefully getting sorted pretty quickly. And as always, having to watch Miss make sure she doesn't cover up her way with uh, with sand here, which, uh, you know, is a thing that's very likely to happen. Look at all this sand up here, actually. Very likely. Everywhere. I think we might have things freezing up here. Mm, I hadn't even thought about that. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. I was kind of hoping it would all just go through pretty quickly, but obviously with them sat in the pipes, that's going to take some time. So I'm going to go plumbing insulated pipes, and we're just going to bring this up here and um, hope that no real problems happen. I didn't know these were as um, aluminium ore. Let's get rid of those. Make more available for what is needed down here. And then go iron because that's what we've got in much greater supply down here. Beautiful, nice and wonderful. Wait, insulated tiles going down in... in wait, no, 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 no. This is this is not what I wanted. Ah, I wanted as granite. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Um, let's just cancel all of this because it's going to take forever else. Uh, like that, like that, like that. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Then plumbing insulated pipe granite beautiful okay we're going to do a drive-by suit unpacking i'm going to pause it here i'm going to find mad frank and we're going to go unequip that suit buddy okay cool and we've got another one coming through here comes cubic uh, just as they start getting through i'm going to go hey buddy if you could just drop that suit that beautiful beautiful right we'll sort that out uh, later on where hopefully all this is going to get fixed if it turns out we're missing a little bit of wire here this is why this electrolyzer is not working and that's a very big problem because we could at any point end up with water frozen in the pipes and this is just so not what we want to do okay heavy wire has been introduced and suddenly a lot of hydrogen is being produced that's nice we're just going to kind of let it flood this area for a little bit i know we've got holes in the roof but it would be nice to not have all the carbon dioxide down here or something you know i'm not sure how well that is going to work maybe we want to prioritize the roof space and therefore all the carbon will be pushed out in fact still talking of roof space we could do that and that and that should actually help immensely fairly sure i just saw someone get hypothermia but that's okay we can live with that this one is also going to be selecting for hydrogen nice beautiful beautiful all right so with that all in place the nice and easy gas vent that we can do is to pull this up here across and into that and then boom we have got ourselves a beautiful little hydrogen line but as we all know the oxygen is going to be a bit of a problem but with that i'm going to say thank you very much for joining for this salty adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you next time when we're going to clear all of this water down into the pumping area we're actually going to go ahead and put a door with a temperature sensor on this side and knock this through here and then use the cold from up here to chill this side down and the door will only open when it's cool enough. I think that's how we're going to control that system, but I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!